Good afternoon. I'm here to show you the difference between my Sig Soria P229 Double Action Kellerman and my uh, MP9, MP9 Shield Conceal Carry Smith & Wesson Conceal. It's a difference in size here. It doesn't seem like there's that much difference, but it is twice as heavy. Very heavy up here in the barrel. Um, it just feels a lot bigger to carry. So narrow that one is compared to this target. See this one compared to the target. So I'm going to shoot five of each. And let's put it at 30 feet. And let's see how I'm shooting. All right, eyes and ears. Let's see what I got here. Woo! Okay. Keeps getting stuck back. Woo! That one jumped. All right. See how I shot. Yeah, I mean, this is, normally I'm shooting like right here in this grouping, but these ones, I was like, is this thing gonna fire? You can see the first one, the first one I shot good, and I got stuck back, and I knew it was in battery, and I shot the second one, and then these, I just kept firing, not knowing if the pistol would, uh, would get stuck or not. But that shows, that really shows uh, my mental stability is slacking, okay, and that's not right. You should always be pressing that trigger smooth and confidently and not thinking about it. So now I'm going to pick up the Smith & Wesson shield, and I'm going to try to get a grouping right in on this, and we will see how I do. Let's get this at 30 feet again. And there should be a round in the chamber, because this has a little thing that says, loaded when up. My safety is off. Okay, let's shoot better this time with this brand new weapon. God, that thing went quick. That surprised the crap out of me. This one's kick is a lot, has a lot of kick. That first round, I seriously put my finger on the trigger and it just went. So that was my first legitimate shot right there. Three. All right, that's about it. Let's bring this thing home. See the sad news. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. That thing jumps though, man. What? This one is a lot more kick. This one is just smooth sailing. This one, it it feels like you're shooting a freaking rocket. Okay, so I pulled one of the, this is my first round. I seriously put my finger on the trigger and just it just launched. I mean, it just went. The trigger pull on this is a lot longer. It seems. This one, man, you just barely touch it. It's more like a rifle, it feels. Okay, so here's where my original two, and these are my legitimate shots. And by the way, anytime you're firing a gun, it's all legitimate shots. There, There is no second chances. This was my first one. See, you gotta really get used to this weapon. You put your finger on that trigger, it's shooting immediately, okay? I mean, it's just gonna pop. Right when you pull that, you don't even pull the trigger. You, you just touch that stupid trigger and it goes. This one, you literally pull it. But as I get used to the weapon, right, uh, that's why range days are very important. They're, they're vital. Uh, just like this, vital. So these are my other weapons. So this this is my um, Smith & Wesson, okay? So you can see these two, nice uh, nice trigger pull on the SIG, nice heavier weapon. But these ones, I mean, I'm, I'm right there. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting nice and vital, the uh, vitals. Uh, nice grouping, decent grouping for a little, little gun like this. They're both very nice. This one's a lot nicer to conceal carry. This one's a good home safety or to leave in the safe in my car. Because if you want a gunfight, if you don't have a rifle, this is the one to have. But this is a really nice one to carry around.